So yesterday's video got 130 plus comments, which is absolutely insane. And I was thinking to myself that maybe deep down, you guys actually do like me. It's weird. I know it's kind of crazy to think about it, but um, I wanted to thank you guys and bring out a another guide because that's what we do on this channel. I know, surprise, surprise, we do guides on this channel. But anyways, I want to bring out a cooking guide for you guys, like a cooking material guide, not a cooking guide. Don't worry, Jesus Christ, guys. For some, those of you that are saying, oh, David, you recycle material all the time. I, I kind of do recycle material a lot. But with that being said, I made a alchemy material guide, and that was received very well. So I decided to, hey, why not? I mean, people ask me about cooking a lot and materials and what they should get for nodes. And I was like, you know what? Maybe maybe this go two and two together, like potato, like mashed potatoes and ketchup. And I was I was thinking to myself, I was like, I could make a cooking material guide, and that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we actually hop into the actual guide, um... I want to do a bit of housekeeping. I want to pass some ideas beside you guys. Well, not beside, over, over, give you guys, I don't know how to say it. I want to talk about, a, yeah, I want to talk ideas to you guys. Oh, Jesus Christ, English. If you guys just want to skip, I will have the timestamp down below in the comment section. But for those of you who do care about what I have to say, I wanted to bring a sort of vlog slash life podcast to the to the channel kind of like me just like talking about random stuff kind of like a live stream but a recorded version and hopefully in that video series i can get to know some of you guys better and you guys can get to know me a little bit better like outside of video anyways that was just my first idea if, if not it's it's not a big deal and then my second idea was to have my future videos be more chill like less scripted i guess and more kind of just go with the flow less editing less cutting and just kind of have it like natural and I don't know, because there's a lot of YouTubers out there just that feel the need to just keep editing and making it all professional, which I am perfectly okay with. I don't mind making a video that's, you know, keeping my videos that are professional. But at the same time, I don't know if you guys want to, uh, because it's weird, because for some people, it's like, oh, he's a YouTuber or she's a YouTuber. And we don't, we don't act any differently. Like I act the same way I do on screen than I do off screen. So I just kind of wanted to swing that by you guys. Anyways, I've been talking for a little bit. Let's move on to the actual guide. So today I will be running over the materials that I deem are worth it to be in this guide. I'm not going to be running over everything. If you guys do feel like I missed an important material or an important cooking item, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, daily dose, your daily reminder. If you guys enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel and that will definitely help me out okay so let's start in olvia oh oh i forgot to mention we're gonna start by city by city and then hopefully i don't miss any cities anyways we're gonna start in olvia for me personally the only item for cooking that is worth it in olvia is cast a farm this farm gives you grapes and grapes can be used in essence of liquor uh it can be used when you're crafting exotic herbal wine honey wine and if you don't want to spend silver on the calfion strawberries from the vendor you can just get the grapes and the grapes are honestly really good and they stack up quite a bit like I have 7,000 here and then I have a I think well over like 50 to 60,000 in Calfion so I don't have to worry about grapes at all and I don't spend silver when I buy strawberries from the Calfion vendor um so that's about it don't worry about the olive node and whale farm it's really not worth it let's move on to velia so velia you will most likely as a beginner you will need beer so you will need the potato farm and you will also need the uh, chicken farm, which chicken farm gives you eggs and it gives you the chicken meat, which you could then turn into five grain chicken porridge, or you can turn into grilled chicken, which is also used to feed your workers if you don't want to craft beer. But that's fine in Velia, you can grab those, but that would be basically it. You can grab corn uh, from Tuscany Farm, although corn, I feel like, is a little overkill. Once you grab the wheat nodes in Highdale, you won't really need corn. I feel like it's just useless. Don't don't get it. Moving on to Highdale here, Alejandro Farm gives you cooking honey, which is really good, and it's the only honey node in the game, so I definitely get that. And cooking honey is used in, again, honey wine, it's used in your tea with fine scent, and it's used in a couple other things, which again i don't know off the top of my head but cooking honey definitely worth grabbing uh there is the wheat nodes and the pumpkin nodes in Hido. and again pumpkins can be used in the pickled vegetables it can be used in the ve stir fried vegetables and because i mentioned not to get the olives in olvia if you grab the pumpkin farming here in Costa Farm, it will supply you if you're making all those other recipes that I mentioned previously. And you shouldn't run out as long as you aren't making too many of them. I mean, again, there's the marketplace. You can always just grab more if you want. But 
from my experience, I have never had the need to actually buy vegetables off the market. I've had enough supply just from this farm alone. So it's great. Uh, wheat, again, mentioned wheat. If you want to do beer and turn it down into flour, which again can be used in other recipes like fried fish, um, dough, which you can turn the flour into dough with mineral water. So there's many benefits when it comes to having wheat and your uh, corn or your barley. But again, I don't prefer having corn because you save yourself a little bit of CP. And I think both wheat notes in Hydale are more than enough when it comes to crafting your basic beer and stuff like that. Moving down to Glish. Glish doesn't have any cooking nodes, so you don't have to worry about that. So moving on to the Medea nodes here. Shuri Farm, probably the biggest highlight here because it gives sweet potatoes high quality and special sweet potatoes and potatoes are one of those weird cooking materials that allow you to use less upon uh, using it in a recipe so example if you're using x amount in beer you would use actually less than if you're using like corn or wheat or something like that so definitely worth grabbing and if you actually want to you can save yourself cp by removing the potato notes in velia and grabbing yourself just shuri farm and again from my experience shuri farm has been plenty and that has sufficed and supplied me for all my beer needs which then again i don't really cook beer so that could also be the reason why but hey you guys can always test it out and if you guys need more potatoes then just take um just bring back the velia nodes and it's not a big deal but if you guys are okay with it then shrew farm is definitely just the way to go that is it for the medea nodes and we will move on to valencia nodes now valencia nodes have some pretty interesting nodes they have nutmeg they got fig they got date palm they have coconuts and we're gonna obviously run through that so first off shikaru shikaru farmland is a great cooking material node because it gives you figs and it gives you star anise now star anise is simple cooking it's not actual cooking well, I mean, technically you could consider it actual cooking, but it is simple cooking, which means that it doesn't give you nearly as much XP as if you were doing like fig pie or something like that. Um, again, that's just a, re a recipe that uses figs. And these nodes are great for CP versus silver, but eventually you are going to stock up on a lot of figs and you will not spam enough fig pie to need both these nodes. This is why I don't have them. I think I still have like 80,000 figs that I haven't used and I don't think I'll ever use. Uh, and I think the only recipe that figs are used in would be fig pie, which is then used in Valencia meals, if I'm correct. I forget. Moving on here, star anise is used in star anise tea and that is just for the desert debuff or removing desert debuff, my bad. And again eventually you will probably just remove these because they're not really needed moving on here we got bamboo valley and bamboo valley gives you frica which for one of the recipes is used in frica snakes too so if you guys do valencia meals then you guys will need frica now i don't think this is really a node that you need to keep necessarily because there is frica on the market and i personally think it's a little bit of a waste of cp because of how far it is you got to connect it to everything blah blah and i personally think that it's just probably better to overall just buy it off the market but again if you guys want to be a little bit different then this is a decent um, cooking material note so you guys can grab that if you want to next up we got iris canyon and this node gives you nutmeg now if you guys are into recipes that require nutmeg there are not many recipes that require nutmeg so if you guys again are into nutmeg recipes for some reason like Val i think valencia meals i think require nutmeg then this node is not bad but again like i mentioned same thing for bamboo valley if you really want nutmeg just buy it off the market it's a lot easier save yourself cp and don't grab this node but it's it's there if you guys want it okay let's move on to valencia city so valencia city has a couple nodes that are really good for crafting for cooking now the first one is date palms and date palms are used in date palm wine which is again used in valencia meals and this gives a thousand xp i think that date palm wine is the best cooking xp recipe that you can make in this game right now it's very easy to make it takes essence of liquor which if you have a ton of that spammed earlier you can just burn it in date palm wine and it does not cost many more materials most of the materials just come from the npc vendor so again for the cost of materials versus how much XP you get, this is the best 
uh, recipe you can do. I use date bomb wine to go from master one to guru one, so I definitely recommend it. Pistachio, this is very niche. Again, not many recipes require pistachio. And of course, more Frica if you guys ever need that for some odd reason. Next up, we have Fahalam Farm, which gives you teff, and teff can be ground down into teff flour, which can then be turned into teff dough, or you could turn that into teff sandwiches or teff bread, whatever you're making with teff in the beginning of the, of the word. And that's basically it. That's all teff has. You can't use it in making beer because it's specific to teff sandwiches and teff flour and stuff like that. So again, I probably wouldn't recommend getting both of these, maybe one, but I would probably eventually late game remove these notes because you don't need them. Erdl Farm has some more pistachio and it has more date palm. And of course, if you have a house ranked one, you can get box of sweet date palm but I don't really recommend it. Moving on to the right, we have Arahaza Town, and Arahaza Town has a node called Araha Palm Forest, and this gives you coconuts as a byproduct. This isn't like the main thing you get from it, but if you guys are into making Arahaza meals, then you will need a decent amount of coconuts because three components or three sub recipes in the Arahaza meal require coconuts. So definitely if you guys are into doing that, then there you go, that's your two coconut nodes. So moving on to Calfion, there's no real nodes here that you need for cooking. There is more alchemy nodes in Calfion and same thing goes for Trent. Moving down to Grana, there's only one node here that is used for cooking, which would be strawberries from the Ver, what is it called? Uh, Viv Ferretta Hamlet. And this gives you strawberries and high quality strawberries. I would only really recommend this if you need strawberries because you didn't grab the grape node in Olvia for some reason. I don't know why you would not. Um, because I personally think the grape node in Olvia is a lot better than this one and it's better than buying from the Calcium vendor. Something to note though that the high quality strawberry is a byproduct and you do not get a lot of them. You will get a ton of strawberries and then high quality is just a very rare proc. So don't expect too many high qualities because I have tested the node out and it's it's meh it's it's all right okay i'll give it like a three out of ten if i had to rate it if you do have an artisan goblin on it i think it takes like 18 minutes per rotation which is really good it's a very fast cycle but other than that it's it's not a super great node and then down in Duvenkroon, we have the Bracken note. No, not that's the wrong note. So Bracken is used in the Dragonese meals. And again, this is a very slow node, so you're not going to get a lot of Bracken. I would probably gather Bracken if you guys really want a lot of Bracken. But other than that, I personally don't think the Dragonese meals are good to make because it just requires so many different types of meats. But if you guys want to go out there, be a little bit different, and craft Dragonese, Dragonese meals, Dra Dra I don't know how to say it. Anyways, if you guys want to craft those types of meals, then this is the node. And I think there is one more node here in Shira. Yes, Bracken here in Shira. So that's that. And I think that basically sums up all the nodes for cooking. So let's move on to my storage here and I'll run over a few more materials with you guys. So first off, meat. This is a very big ingredient in most of your cooking recipes. Meat can be gathered at Sheep Mountain. It can be gathered at uh, near Portophilia. Deer meat can be gathered at bear, which I recommend, or you can gather wolf's meat. Basically, anything that you would think would have meat has probably meat, except for trolls. Trolls don't give meat. That's disgusting. Basic cooking ingredients like salt, sugar, uh, cooking wine, uh, mineral water and stuff like that. Those are all bought from and cooking NPCs. So if you go to the innkeeper, normally the innkeepers will sell you those. If not, there should be a cook right beside the innkeeper and then they, they sell them really cheap. So you guys can just stock up a lot and this way you don't have to keep going back and forth whenever you're cooking. Moving down here, we got dough. Again, if you just mix flour with mineral water, you will obtain dough and that's used in like pies and stuff like that, obviously. Fish is also another thing. Fish can be obtained from the nodes around Portophilia or Velia. So basically all these nodes here that are in the ocean, you will find a lot of fish drunk nodes and you want to grab whatever one you want. I mean, I would recommend grabbing just in one area. I wouldn't suggest grabbing all the fish nodes in Portophilia and then all the fish nodes in Velia. That's just a lot of CP. And unless you do an insane amount of fish for some reason, um, there's no real point in that. Anyways, um, so that's where you get most of your fish for making like fried fish, seafood pasta, uh, stuff like that. So that's where you can grab that. And whale meat, you can use whale meat for hunter's salad and whale meat salad, which again, you will have to go out and hunt whales, which is a little hard and you're not gonna get a ton of it. But honestly, your biggest materials for cooking will be meats, 
or it will be um that's yeah, it's meat honestly meat is like your biggest thing um coconuts will probably be your second biggest thing and then probably third would be fish but after that it's just basically just gather meat so if you guys want to get into cooking then there you go anyways that's it for the guide. I've been talking long enough. I think we're well over the 10 minute mark. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a like. And of course, if you disliked the video, leave me a thumbs down and I will hopefully see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.